Still with the blink dagger, throw him back out. Um, you know, anything could happen. We'll see what um, Ramsey decides to play, like what kind of style of Tiny he decides to play here. Uh, rather, a support Tiny in the back, kind of helping out his teammates or going in to initiate and throwing one to his teammates. And, you know, anything could happen. Well, let's go ahead and get into our uh, fourth game of the day. The undefeated Cerberus from Thailand taking on Alter Ego, who are 2-1, representing, of course, Indonesia. Legends like Ramsey on their side. And what do you think, ending life? What are we going to see? Who's going to be more willing to fight the team fight here? Well, um, as of... The composition, like I said, like the first four picks on both sides, they just looked so solid uh, for team fights. Depending on how uh, they catch the opponent off guard, to be honest, like if it's like a five v five team fight, it's going to be super close because they're both very good. But you know, we saw Chen kind of get ab uh, obliterated uh, yeah. by getting picked off. Obviously, you know, if you don't get picked off by uh, with Chen, it's still it's not going to be as bad. But even with Chen getting picked off early game, uh, they were able to come back. So uh, we'll have to see Cer uh, Cerberus. Like, will they be able to take control defensively on the on their side of the jungle and allow Chen to kind of roam around to kind of pressure? If not, then you know, early game Cerberus might kind of get pushed back into a corner. Well, we're setting up for uh, two bounty runes on each side. Uh, obviously, uh, none being taken on either safe lane by the safe laners that are there. Two go to MSC, and oh, my dearest. Actually able to take one, so yeah, two going to Alter Ego uh, as well. All right, well, uh, early game, nothing happens. You know, we usually see some uh, Punches being thrown back and forth, but you know these two teams they want to kind of play it safe. Alter Ego they want this win to get that third win. And running a tri lane for Terror Blade just to start that off is uh, a real commitment. But I, I think you know it doesn't. Uh, it's, it's totally warranted because if you can get tr uh, get Terror Blade into a good spot, I mean just the things that this hero can do. Oh yeah, absolutely unreal. Um, I actually saw the icons overlapping. So in the end, it's mm -hmm. uh, yeah, a duo versus, uh, sorry, our, our screens are actually comically tiny. I'm trying to see who's top lane uh, as well. But at least for right now, AM having a little bit of a trouble uh, laning uh, against the, uh, the Pugna. The Necro. The Necro foes. I'm going to do that all yeah, game long, I'll by the way. I'll correct you. It's OK. OK. But, Thank uh, goodness. Yeah. At least I don't get confused. So, you know, this is one part that I can help you out with. You know, there will be a time where you, you will need to correct me. So, oh, you got it. Try. It's a win win. But here we go. The Chen is coming up. Sand King is there. So, it's not going to be a. It's going to be. A, it's going to be an even fight here if Chen decides to go in. But the Sand King initiates first for the Anti Mage, blinks out towards uh, the Chen here. Yeah, and actually won't be afraid to go right back in, even though he's going to take some extra yep. right clicks from that Necropose. Yep. This is really interesting because Chen, you know, coming through, we had a much different experience mm -hmm. for Chen. He was the one getting initiated on last time we saw him. But this time, coming in for a nice gank to put some pressure on. Although it doesn't really help out the anti-mage, uh, still very, very low health. Yeah, but well, now Chen's going to probably stay there and just allow uh, the Necro and the Sand King that somebody is around uh, the jungle area so they won't be able to kind of uh, push in. Even if uh, the Sand King does land the Burrow Strike, Anti-Mage will obviously have that blink saved up. Back down to bottom lane for the Terror Blade against uh, your Shaker. I, okay, thankfully Abaddon's there. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, finally the Terror Blade can lane again. All right, well, they did go in for a dive here. Oh, sick blink after yeah. the dive. Well, now he, this uh, blink is going to be a little while, but yeah, they don't decide to chase them in. The tower does land on the Necro. Some right clicks landing from Chen as well forces them to fall back. Yeah, uh, blink is actually a deceptively high cooldown oh, uh, yeah, it is. early on. Yeah, level you one blink is super high. 
But look at this. Oh, he negates that stun. That was actually very, very well done. Uh, Counterspell not super mm. useful early on, but hey. Yeah. Well, if you make it useful like this, yeah, that was gonna be worth it. Definitely one of them. Yeah, blink 15 seconds, level mm -hmm. one. So oh, yeah. very not good if you use that very and then get caught good. afterwards. All right, well, there's Shaker. Oh, there's the block onto Terrorblade. Yeah. There uh, will be a way out here, but. but yeah, the Enchant Totem really just nuking down Drew, uh, Drew right another there. Another one. Yeah, continuing to get the stuns off. What's the cooldown? Actually, Sari out of mana at this point, so really can't commit. He's got another oh, one. If that oh. landed. If that landed. So it, close. It would have been. All right, there, was, there is the body block by Chen. Not going to continue here. Okay. A nice attempt uh, there at the counter spell, but it doesn't yeah. actually want right, to block right. anything. So and now, now, 23 Savage in a little bit of trouble getting right clicked there by Hyde. Yeah, you got to hit him. Got to hit him. And Hyde is just going in here. Uh, nice to see the uh, neutral creeps getting in on the action. Chen mm -hmm. helping things out. Uh, okay. Yeah, tiny. That's not a tree. That's like a crystal. Yeah. It's going to hurt more. Okay. Maybe, maybe that's why he's picking <laughs> it up. But uh, yeah, Tiny Mid Classic. No. Yeah, Tiny Mid is like one of those uh, things when I, you, you know, when I say back in the day, I yeah, used yeah, to. Yeah. Like that's like Tiny Mid, right? Like yeah, but I feel like we haven't seen Tiny in the meta for a long time. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's like one of those back in the mid class. Like it is a little bit of days. a throwback, yeah. Definitely is, but we'll see how that works out here. Soul Ring picked up, uh, pretty standard. Just want to find some way to get massive amounts of mana to that oh Earthshaker. Whoa! Playing Terror pinball Blade. with him! Sari! Uh, Terrorblade ball in the corner pocket. I love that. <laughs> Seb, what a, what a meme. Very, very uh, currently relevant. Yeah. Uh, there, but another oh pickoff oh here, perhaps. Goodness. Look at that blink! Immediately after the counter spell. Oh, so good. Yep. And I mage. How do you stop him? You don't. You don't stop him. Well, in theory, you can bully him around and make his early laning phase so painful it just delays the battle fury as long as possible. But it just feels so pointless because as soon as that comes through, everything is you know totally lost because he can just farm infinitely. Or at least well, that's the way it feels anyway. Yeah, it definitely does. And, you know, these two teams, two wins, one loss, three wins. Obviously, these two teams are playing it super safe and slow. Uh, you know, coming from a team that's in the top top of the rankings right now, out of the seven teams, you know, they've only given up one kill so far. Not a huge difference. Six minutes in, you know, we've already seen in the previous games, within the first ten minutes, we've seen roughly like five to ten kills go back and forth. But well, you know, this game is, you know, going pretty slow. I, I think the reasons that we saw those, maybe it was uh, the high kill counts was because of the teams. Maybe it, it was just the uh, uh, team compositions. But for right now, oh, actually, is Drew going to go down here? Oh, my goodness. Man. Taking the Terrorblade out. Absolutely oh high priority. Oh, my gosh, and double kill. No, he was denied. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, very, very cl uh, clutch deny there at the last yeah. second. So, I mean, still, hey, dead, but uh, I, I, the much bigger deal is taking out that Terrorblade early. If you can limit Terrorblade early on, it does take a long time to get going, but hey, there's the Burrow Strike, Sandstorm coming through, damage over time, and a couple more right clicks. That's all it's going to take. The stick charges, are they going to be enough? Uh, one more. Okay, not one more. Well, he does use it. He is coming back. Oh, the life drain. Barbie. You have, you have to finish him. There we go. All right. I so thought that was going to be another deny, but mm -hmm. no, not going to come through in time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I love the taunts. They're too good. When they taunt, we just have to stay quiet and allow it to play out. That's why we have voice lines, guys. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but back to the actual laning phase. I do feel like it's going to come down to who can survive the longest to come oh, out gosh. ahead. Is it Terrorblade oh, or is it AM? Gosh. I think Terrorblade is actually in a great spot. A beautiful Apotic Shield. Uh, and, and at the end of the day, after engaging, it's going to be the counter-engage that is so strong. With Rubik going down and maybe even the Earthshaker getting right. taken down here too. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, that mid Pugna was pressuring, but Earthshaker, Earthshaker. Oh, there's the taunt. Ramsey, a double kill for the not-so-tiny anymore. Oh my goodness, that heal and the body block. 
Chen is going to get another kill. This the is the second kill oh. right there for Chen. This is a, a nine day difference yeah. for uh, for Chen there. And, and especially the Pugna life drain, man. That's the second time we've seen it come out to drastic effect. Right, what a uh, what a beautiful choice. Here we go. Pugna with the Heishun. Kind of one, two. Oh my god, he's like waiting. Oh, Pearl Strike comes in, but look at the support that came through. The Tiny and the Abaddon finish off Pugna with the... You know, whenever I play Dota 2, Haste Rune yeah. is the worst. Because yeah. it brings... It leads you into death faster. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely it functions better when you have a team to coordinate. Uh, you being Correct. able to run around Correct. really fast uh, on, but... Currently, I uh, we're starting to see these the the focus not be on building up the big items, but getting uh, getting the boots on tranquil, uh, just now purchased. I think we just uh, before that had a uh, arcane boots picked up on was it Pugna? Uh, I want to say it was Pugna, but really yeah. going to be uh, just keeping these life drains over and over again. That Pugna pick, first time that I think we've seen it today, yeah, but today, yeah. really really coming in clutch. All right, well, on both sides. For the bot lane, Earthshaker is doing quite a job uh, being a hassle to the Terror Blade. On the top, Chen picking up kills as well on the side of Cerberus. So right now, Alter Eagle, yeah, it's three kills to four kills, but depending on who is dying on what team, you know, it, it's taking away the farming time, especially for Terror Blade, who needs to constantly be alive, get the experience, get the gold, get the last hits. But Chen here is going to get tossed and stunned, uh -huh. but not dead. Yeah, I was a little bit worried we were going to see the avalanche committed there too, and then somehow we were going to find the extra damage. Glyph actually forced out here, not willing to throw away that tier three just yet. I mean tier one. Or tier one. <laughs> if you're counting backwards, it's a tier yeah, three. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay, anyway, it is tier one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but actually <laughs> now, 23 Savage, can he actually turn this around? Okay, I definitely thought he was going to blink the other way, but instead we'll get out to safety. Cut All out right. his own jungle. It's fine. Necro just pressuring the top lane still. We do have the Earth Shaker hitting. Boom, the block. Look at the yeah. TP coming through. Oh, Barbie's going to uh, have to run a, a little bit of a strange path here. All right, there's, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, uh, where's the life train? Actually, oh, the scythe. Oh. All right, turn another around. stun comes through, and Earthshaker just decides to finish it off. Uh, why did he ult there? Am I just not seeing that? I mean, that ult has a comically long cooldown. Mm -hmm. Still, just wanted to use it. And uh, the style Earth, points. Well, the, um, all of Earthshakers uh, have that mini stun, so you just wanted to stop him. Just in case. And look at that toss over there, over that lock. Good use of Nephotic Shield, uh, just to... Uh, Keep him safe and sound, but uh, uh, ultimately, I mean, this push, you can't stop it. It's, it's going to happen. Yeah. Well, here we go. Terrorblade moving on to mid. Yeah, but you can see the net worth for Terrorblade just way down there. I mean, uh -huh. Tiny's actually way higher up there. Whoa! The toss backwards. Hyde was right there waiting. And oh, my goodness. Here comes Ramsey. Is he going to get even oh, he's blocked. stronger? Look at this. He's blocked. Yeah, they're trying to figure life. out who they want to give the kill to, I guess. Oh, my. Hi just takes it. Damn. Wow. The toss was amazing. Tiny at this point. Highest net worth? <laughs> what is this? I thought he was tiny early. He is tiny. Yeah, well, he's looking pretty big to me. Yeah, he's pretty rich. Oh, my goodness. Well, you know, like I said before, he can make... Could make the, all the difference. He could kind of change the style of how your team operates depending on how he tosses, how he stuns, how he blinks in. So. No, for sure. Yeah. TNT centimeters away. There's the avalanche coming through. Where's the toss coming in on in? Oh. Uh, that is the enchant totem. Lots of damage done there. Uh, the uh, burrow strike stolen. Is it enough? Oh. taking the tower. Not looking good. Does go down. Yeah, it's a nice enchant totem. The damage coming out from Sari. You don't think about it, but there we go. Swing Vada. That is a very long death timer for you, sir. And Life drain. Oh, my God. 
How long does that Holy reach? Teleport out, teleport oh. out, no! Absolutely insane play here by the Pugna. Decrepify there at the end, or I guess Nether Blast. What a way to go. Wow. Well, amazing finish. He predicted that TP uh, oh. was going to happen right there and just finishes it off. Vortex Peak coming in for the AM, who is sitting up at highest net worth. Right up next to Pugna and, oh, by the way, Earthshaker. You don't really think about <laughs> cashing in for all that gold, but hey, yeah. it's been working out this game. All right, well, so far, Cerberus looking great here. They, you know, if this continues, like I said before, they love keeping uh, the winning end, the longer end of the stick. They know how to keep the pressure on. So right now, it's it's one kill advantage, 2K uh, net worth advantage, not a huge uh -oh. lead, but we'll see here. We just got a bottled double damage room on Ramsey's tiny. So hold on, uh, because we might actually see some some terrifying, terrifying uh, occasions here. Yeah. So where is tiny though? All right. Coming up the uh, the short lane up top. Here we go. The epicenter underneath the turret, uh, mowing him down uh, hide. All right, oh. well. Nowhere to hide there for Chen. But you got to say, Chen didn't die as much as the other Chens that came out today. That's true. And he also picked up kills, but lovely block. Yeah, absolutely beautiful nether blast there just to start the damage coming through. and. Still that Fisher, man, it just lasts forever. Yeah. That was a nice block. Uh, unfortunately, they were unable to follow through because they saw, you know, everybody else triple right there. Ra triple Wraith ban for Terrorblade before he goes for his SNH. Yeah. Uh, I guess Tiny still with that bottled DD rune. He's going to find somewhere for it. Waiting. Well, everybody's at top. We have a uh, try lane at the bot. They already got rid of the tier one, so yeah. They have to defend this. Oh, I well, they don't have to defend it. It's super low. They're gonna give it up. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's got like two more HP. But all all that's happening right now is we're just buying time for the carries to farm. So TB is really getting super farmed, finishing off his uh, golems, and now with uh, oh avalanche almost uh. catching Chen there. That was uh. Well, dangerous. Yep. Well, Avalanche, well, for Tiny, you don't want your Avalanche to almost catch. You have to catch. Yep, you know, for sure. To, That's to. why you usually see it comboed after the uh, uh, toss, just to make sure. There, there that's what we're talking about. And boom goes the dynamite. Wait, no, the DD rune. OK, uh, never mind. <laughs> just funneling him in. Mm -hmm. Terrorblade. Yeah, allowing the Terrorblade to pick that yeah. up. Plus, 20, or plus 30 damage for the Necropos, as if he needed any more. This is so sick. I love, we've got like Pugna versus Necrophos. We've got Terrorblade farming it out against, of all heroes, uh, the uh, the AM. And wait, yeah, that's a lot of damage to be taking. Uh, I guess he doesn't worry about that too much. But if he gets caught out, not unheard of. TV passing through the flashing ward on your screen. So I'm glad that that is really annoying. Just to tell us that he did walk through that ward. And now it's fading away. So great. Everybody is playing it slow. It's super close. You guys can tell for yourselves. Terrorblade AM obviously being at the top of the net worth, top of the food chain. It was tiny for a short time, uh, a short period, but. You know. Yeah, we are really seeing the top of this scoreline uh, fluctuate quite heavily. Yeah. But it is actually shaping up pretty normally like you would expect. Uh, maybe Earthshaker with a little bit more money because he caught the gold from a couple of kills off of his uh, you know, ganks, but hey, let's check it out. Uh, Smoked smoke. up, Alter Ego coming in. Making sure that they have not been scouted out. They will try to make this rotation, but joke's on them. Cerberus is already out of there. They're all topside. Yeah, they're all top. They're basically wasting time, unfortunately. But that Necro here, all alone, I think Fisher she might comes be the one through that's on to Barbie. Where's the telekinesis? Lifted oh up, tossed back. And the enchant totem stunned up, but hey, here's the avalanche. Tiny disarmed for a second. The life drain draining through, but Tiny's pretty big, and he's going to stay alive for a little bit oh too long. Oh my god, long. the Terrorblade does join in the fight a little bit late. Full well, health. This is terrifying. Not afraid. 
Yeah, another Burrow strike coming in, and that's just all the time Drew needs. Pick up kill after kill. There we go. Swapping a little bit of the percent health coming through oh, from that Chen swap, Dude. and now going through the last auto attack. And Drew on a killing spree early. All right, well, that just turned things around. Zero for four. Cerberus, they were on a good winning streak. It wasn't a huge one, but they were keeping their lead to themselves for the whole time at the 18 minute mark. They really give up four heroes. Oh, and, and not only do they give up four hero heroes, it's where they give them up to. Uh, the Terror Blade just walks up, Sunder, and uh, I always get Sunder mixed up with uh, Life Break yeah. from, uh, from Huskar. It's like kind of the same idea. Um, but he doesn't even need it. He's got that uh, metamorphosis, and he is just on top of things right now. Um, yeah, TB, highest net worth, highest current gold. Killing it. Um, the AM, you know, no slouch. I think AM is one item away from uh, Battle Fury, so got to keep an eye on that guy because he is about to really take off as far as farm is concerned. Well, you just always have to keep in mind that Terrorblade as well as, you know, anti -mage. They take a long time to get prepared to dive in to kind of finish off the team fight for the team, take one for the team. But right now, 19 minute mark, it's not quite ready. It's almost there, but not quite. I think we're looking for Ags coming out from Earthshaker, if I'm not mistaken. So have to keep an eye on that. Echo Saber coming through for Tiny. Not that that's completely unheard of. But uh, he is, uh, he's a little bit ahead of schedule, I would yeah. say. Uh, but has slowed down a little bit. Or rather, it's, you know, Terrorblade and Anti-Mage are really starting to take off as far as their farm is coming in. Tiny, starting to get not so tiny anymore. He will be absolutely huge when it comes to the later part of the game because, you know, when you think about the carry potential, there's a lot of support on Cerberus. But for Alter Ego, their damage is just through the roof. Now, Tiny is alone at bot by himself. Everybody else is at you know, for the top side for Alter Ego. Tiny just going straight damage. Want you, you, want, you want movement speed? You want extra health? No. Damage, damage, damage. Ooh, they just missed Tiny D. But look at these. Oh, that uh, blast cross. Yeah, was there a hero there? Yeah. Uh, I don't think, I so. think so. The myth of Pugna. Existing on the map. Well, he is just green gas. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. He yeah. did get sublimated there. Yeah. TNT just trying to telekinesis his way out of here. Oh. Avalanche just barely misses. There's the enchant totem. The oh echo slam. Beautifully, beautifully done there. And a oh, swing and a miss. Shoot. Hey, but hey, if you die during it, it's the credit still goes over. Yep, and now Alter Ego, they know exactly what to do. They got that lead. Um, over to themselves after that quad kill at the 18 minute mark. Only three minutes have passed. They've already picked up two more kills, and here we go. Rush. All right, yeah, no, it's not going to stand up to terribly, but hey, let's keep an eye on Tiny. He is very strong. The turnaround! It's the Echo Thrill, or the, uh, the epicenter right on top of it. Beautifully done there. You think you gang Tiny? Gosh. But it Mother started Russia. Off, yeah, it started Tiny off as a you. Go. Started off as a 4v2, and then San King decides to join the party. That epicenter is absolutely epic. I, uh, epic, so well played. Epic center. Yes, an epic center mm -hmm. indeed. I mean, right. in the meantime, Roshan's still going down here. This would be Roshan number one. And an Aegis on that Terror Blade would be terrifying. Another toss to the, oh, yeah, the, the San King. Toss, but yeah, you're right. Not connect here, unfortunately. Life drain, life drain, life drain. Not far enough. Yep. Hyde was a little. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Jabs does pause the game. Well, that's strange. Uh, very odd timing there. Roshan about to fall. It's not when you need the game to be paused. All right. Well, either way, um, Sand King over there, Hyde, was a little bit too hasty. I think like 0.1 second, 0.2 seconds too early there for that Burrow Strike or else that Pugna could have been dead with the tiny avalanche and the toss and mm -hmm. everything else that follows through yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, yeah, for now, uh, I guess this is a little bit longer pause compared to the other pauses that we had, like the two second pauses that we had earlier. Yeah, to be honest, we've gotten through all of our uh, technical issues almost immediately. So 
No reason to think that this uh, would be any different. Yep. Hmm. I wish we could go scroll through and see uh, some of the items that are starting to be completed. Because mm -hmm. uh, you do have that Manta style uh, on uh, terribly completed. I'm guessing we have uh, the, uh, what is it? Uh, headset problem. It, yeah. They say it in chat. They're like, headset. Okay. So that just means they're fixing their headsets. Maybe the sound issue. <laughs> no? Well, hopefully. Well, yeah. like, you know. These are these are gamers. They don't have to write in sentences for you know the opponents to understand. Sentences. Who uses proper yeah. punctuation anymore? Exactly. Ending life. That's what, what do you I'm think saying. this is? A college paper? I wasn't even thinking about college. I was thinking high school English class. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Even worse. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so we do have a head uh, headset issue. I'm glad that it's not a PC issue where we have to like reboot the computer. We don't have to rejoin. You know, all, none of that nonsense. Headset issue is probably fixable. Not going to take too long. And these players are bored. Yeah, that's right. I <laughs> thought I thought it was going to be the emote that signaled us that they were ready to go back into mm -hmm. the game. Instead, they're just uh, making funny noises. So, uh, what is on the way? Is that Eagle Song that is in the the future of Terrorblade? I guess. I think Eagle Song is like one of the most expensive items you can get, but it's absolutely incredible uh, on TV that if he's is, able to finish yeah, it. That is possible, and I just want to. All right. I wanted to see the placements of all these players, but Zerbros have three dead, so. Yeah. And look at all these wards. Yeah, let's take a time to look at how they are getting their vision here, their vision fight. Both of them are focusing, well, not both. Alter Ego, they have defensive and offensive wards. They have so many wards. It's understandable why they are sticking to the top side because on the top side, they have those offensive wards. However, Cerberus, they have only defensive wards except for that one ward at the bottom side. Well, they do have one on the left side. Gosh. But they are focusing more towards. They're all over the place. Yeah. No, but Cerberus is more defensive. On uh, in terms of wards and all right, we are actually back to the internet cafe. Just in case you guys are bored, these are the players. All seven teams are here at this internet cafe playing in the same environment. Yeah. And I see a sprite, and I want one now. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually kind of cool that all these teams are playing uh, in the same environment because not only are they here, not representing any teams, but just representing their countries. Yep. Uh, you got to feel like a lot of these uh, players from these countries might really not get a chance to interact with each other that much. That's a little bit cool. Hey, stream picked up by Tiny. He is going to uh, have that Blink Dagger completed as well. So we really have a very, very potent moment here. Grouping up. Where's the smoke? Oh, I, I thought, or the uh, dust. I thought, or yeah, no, it was smoke. I thought they were going to smoke up and go for something. But nope, just, just stand together. The power of friendship. Yep, and the Terrorblade, I think, does take that Aegis, so gonna have to kill him twice. Probably four times if you include all the illusions that he's gonna use. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's gonna be a few of those uh, out there, but... Alright, Pugna gets that Blink Dagger. That'll help him out. Uh, Fissure's to uh, try to clear that wave up. One-man wave pushing crew, but he'll need a little bit of help. There's four top. Or three top, I guess. I think when they saw the Fissure come through, they should have jumped in with the Sand King, but I mean, yeah, what they weren't sure, you know, how many people were in the back. Right. So, so you never want to do that without oh, the information. You, well, uh, let's see how much of a committal that is. Trying to jump away from here. The turnaround Fissure, but look at this TB damage. Okay. Hop, skip, and a jump on out of there. Nice. Escape comes through, uh, but how long will it last? Boom goes the dynamite, dropping bows on them. That tree, her bows on them. Yeah, well, there we go. The haste rune on that tiny is doing work, and he is oh back at top. Oh, my God, just cashing in. Open the register. Let this guy in the store. Goodness. Just fill your money bags with dollar signs on the side with all the cash in the register. This guy deserves it. Look they're just handing it out. Yeah, they're handing it out. Look at this. Look at that. Yeah, Tiny pretended he was running away to TP away, but he was oh, hiding. Oh, he it. holds oh! it. No! Chen does live through all that. Robbed. 
Well, I guess he's the one robbing. But on the other side, the AM with the counter push. Glyph, of course, is going to stop that in its tracks and the blink away. Oh, my out safely. goodness. I can't that believe Rams didn't get that kill. I can't believe Chen survived. Ramsey. What happened to being a Pharaoh? Let's just get robbed like well, that. they're not done. They're not done. They're going to stay hidden. They're going to pretend as if they went back, as Be if they fell back. very quiet. But here we go. Oh, watch the moment. Bro, strike. Where's the engage? Oh, tosses in preemptively. They want to get the uh, the strike, the preemptive strike. That's what it is. Yep. Jumping on in the life drain comes stop. through. More gold. The engages just don't stop. Here's the lift. The look telekinesis back. The jump on top. Look at Tiny. He's just like, up, oh, not getting in that, uh, yep. that fight. And a Photic Shield at the end just to add insult to injury. Nothing could have happened there. Look how fast this Tiny farms. Yeah. Insane. Avalanche, toss, blink dagger, TPO. <laughs> Before anybody even thinks of coming. Leave nothing but footprints, take nothing but pictures. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Look at this. DD on this Turblade, he is going towards mid. Right as you say that it expires. I'm just like, yeah. okay, it's nice. It's nice. But by and large, yeah, uh, we've got the lanes pretty equaled out. Three bot, three top. Courier bringing something out. Not sure what's on there just yet. I'm sure we'll find out here momentarily. All right, well, Tiny is officially huge now, so. Yeah, we're going to start calling him Huge from now on. Yeah. Huggy, like toilet paper in Korean. That's Huggies. Huggy. Oh, oh, he, oh, you, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, the vocabulary <laughs> word. Yeah. No, he is definitely not toilet paper. Yeah. He will be the one wiping the floor uh, with his opponents. This. We have two uh, of Alter Ego at top here. Ags on Earthshaker. Ugh, disgusting. Now all he needs is 2K gold, and he can turn that into a buff. Yeah. Anti-Mage is still busy farming. So yeah, Pugna really yeah. bought Dagon. Okay. All right. All right. Tiny is in this right now. He's looking for something, but he's not finding it. Anymore, so he's just going to farm. Yeah, at the very least, he's just looking to either catch somebody out or just make sure it's safe for him to keep uh, keep finding those catches. Jump go. on in. Let the Ags work. But yeah, no dive behind the turret just there. Terribly does get the tier one down on the mm -hmm. on the bottom side. So it's evening that one out at least. But if you remember, the top side tier three is down. So only the racks are up. So one bad team fight for Cerberus. Their top racks will go down. So they have to play very cautiously. Oh, the predictive. Oh, just barely misses it. Oh. oh. Can they find him in the trees? Well, they're gone now. Yeah. Well, one is at least. So close, and yet so far. Mm -hmm. They have an idea, but it's going to be too late, or is he staying? No. Yeah, he's staying. Earth is Shaker. he? Yeah, Earthshaker, he's staying. Oh, yeah, he is. Wow. It's going to be a one on two, so he might have his work cut out for him. Right. Is that uh, that's TNT stole the Sandstorm, yeah, right? Yeah, Sandstorm, yep. Okay. It's like, where is, is a that mask? Yeah, okay. Um. What is happening? Okay, so at least Earthshaker got a little bit of uh, help? No, he's going to proxy no, 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 this no. wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just trying to cut off the wave because, like I said, the th uh, tier 3 for top on the side of uh, Cerebus is down. He wants to delay it as much as possible. He's just going to clear it and probably finally TP out here. Needs to make sure he is well hidden. And there comes the TP. So, heading... To bot. To bot, okay. And we are really starting to see a uh, consolidation here. Cerberus grouping up. Mm -hmm. But what's the goal? I mean, aside from getting vision up, it looks like the ping's going down onto that tier two safe lane. The smoke. They are coming down. Antime just pretends like he's just going to farm. But yeah. they have an idea. Do they though? Well, they do have an idea. I think, is that Sand King still staying hidden in the jungle? They might catch Tiny out here if he's not careful. Oh, there we go. Yeah, like I said, the, the Sand King, he was just, 
He was waiting for an ambush himself. He gets ambushed. It's actually unreal how good the Ags upgrade is on Earthshaker. Yeah. He's just able to initiate whenever, wherever he wants. Disgusting. That's what I'm telling you, man. First pick, it's easy. You give nothing away. Wow. All right. Necrophos. When did Necrophos pick up Guardian Greaves? I was very surprised about that. Mm. Definitely. I mean, hey, if you want to drop 6k on boots, go for it. Mm. All right. But they are taking their time. I'm pretty sure Terrorblade and Anti-Mage on either side are saying, buy me more time. Buy me more time. <laughs> oh, for sure. I mean, yeah. this is just a waiting game at this point. Mm. It's just uh, who can be the biggest, most badass carry, and then you run at each other, and one player clicks on the other one, and someone wins, someone loses. All right. And, and that's why I really love that instead of, like, trying to build oh, for the team. Oh, wow. Falling. And there's the, uh, the chant Pogna. totem. Life drain, but okay, it doesn't really work on Necropos. Oh, well, they do still pick up a kill onto Sand King, and yeah, every time Sand King gets picked off, your team cannot go into a team fight, so you're forced to run away because Sand King is your main initiator, and you have to blink dagger, you I have guess, to be in the back. Yeah, there's like a second initiate if Tiny just like makes it happen himself. Yeah. Or maybe you get like a nice telekinesis mm -hmm. from uh, um, from Rubik, but uh, yeah, you're right. You really need that Sand King as part of your uh, forest. So your oh. primary, primary initiator, because we have seen Tiny, like you said, initiate and get some kills, get some nice tosses. However, Sand, it's classic. Epic Center, Sand King, Blink Dagger in, yep. and then, you know. The stun. team fights right themselves. Exactly. So. Um, Trying to get a cheeky backdoor here. It's weird, like uh, in the Dota 2 rule book, it actually lists like things that are and aren't allowed, like mm -hmm. exploits and bugs. And it specifically states that backdooring is allowed. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, thanks, guys. It's not often that we actually see much backdooring, but hey, surprise, what do you know? Still happens every once in a while. Yep. And, you know. 13-minute games happen once in a while. Not today. No, I mean, Not we've yet. actually had comically long games today. We're already cresting the 30-minute mark. I think we've had the shortest game we had was like 38 minutes or something. And everything else was 40-plus minutes. Yeah, oh, look at this. Tiny. No, to Tiny. Work. Trying to find a pick here. Ooh, oh, the Burrow Strike just that was barely so misses. Close. Wow. Where's that Burrow Strike talent range increase? Wow. Would have gotten him. Wow, that is actually so close. Okay, here we go. One burrow, one avalanche, one toss, one kill. Ram Z with another one. That was, I guess they wanted to get some kind of a uh, kill over there, and they do pick it up. Pugna does go uh, alive away. Yeah. Go for another Roshan here. Yeah, Chen being dead is not the biggest deal. Chen more of sort yeah. of like a, an early game enabler, uh, but uh, he's still important. What is that? Counterspell magic damage resistance 25%. Ugh, I love it because that is really going to help versus Terrorblade. The, uh, the other side of it is that now that we're starting to see everything be built here. Oh, Terrorblade actually already with the butterfly finish. So that means we are going to need to see. Oh, there's BKB, but we need an MKB to get through that butterfly evasion. Yeah, but look at this. They have no clue. Alter Ego, they had Necro and er, uh, Sand King at top lane while Roshu was going down, and they had no idea. They need to do some offensive wards now. They can't just constantly put wards in their jungle defensively. Obviously, you need them out at the entrance. Right. But it's getting to the point where you have to pick people off. You have to go aggressive. And right now, Alter Ego, they are being just way too passive. Well, I, I don't know if there's a such thing as too passive when you have a Terrorblade on your team. Terrorblade Tiny, I mean, those are like two of the hardest carries in the game. Uh, and, and yeah, Anti-Mage can make kind of anything possible. And maybe Rubik steals a sick ult, but I mean, oh what are we watching here? Oh. Like, let's just be real. This is a little crazy. All right, well, we have... Anti-Mage 
at bot. Or is he just going to let is this... Is he really just going high ground? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. They are going to go for that trade, but... Yeah, but it's minions versus no. Creeps will help this uh, turret go down faster. There they come on in. I actually think 23 Savage is going to make a little bit more progress. Oh, there's the glyph. Turning still, it around. I still... I don't know. Ooh, the jump and the jump. Oh, but there's the epicenter right on top, right after oh. that. Echo Slam will come through here, and it's a very, very big Earth Shaker. Toss it on in. Terrorblade has to head for the hills here. Yep, Sand King actually goes in with the epicenter with the stun, but he dies right away. Buys back, comes right back to the fight. Oh, but look at this, the chase CC oh. on the Pugna. Taken out just in the blink of an eye. Ramsey unstoppable. Sari as well. The Abaddon backwards. But let's see the AM gets the break for the Aegis. He's coming oh right back. Oh my goodness. The Necro is going to get burned by the man. Terrorblade versus Anti Mage. The blink away onto the high ground. The drums to get him healed right back up. Disarm, there's there the stun, go. the oh Fissure, Sari, wicked sick. Wow. So Sand King buy, uh, dies, buys back and dies. Two other players, uh, Abaddon dies with them. Necro dies. This is not looking good for Alter Ego, even though they are up ahead in terms of kills. Mm -hmm. At After the 30, 35 minute mark, kills really don't matter unless you're like, it's not the 10, kills that matter, kill, it's, yeah. it's what you do with them. Exactly. Uh, and, and so I, oh, 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 okay. Sorry, that was an illusion. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was getting my, my hopes up there uh, a, a little bit. And every time I see like one of uh, the, the, the reflections from Terrorblade, I just, I, I get a little, get a little worried. Well, it feels like they want to kind of do something about this bottom rack here. He <laughs> has a DD on oh, right Oh, yeah, now. he did have the DD. Yeah. Uh, he's also working on that MKB I was talking about earlier. Yep. So, got to have it. Can't fight the Terry Blade one-on-one -on -one, uh, without a, without that. Yep. Well, for now, Zerbus definitely put Alter Ego on the defensive. 7K net worth lead here. But it seems like Zerbus is going to just play passive. They're going to pull back. Yeah. They're not going to force a push. I think we're up to Dagon level three on Pugna, by the way. Oh my goodness. He's, he's really been stacking those. Oh, it's actually a butterfly. I thought he was going for MKB. But no, they're both, neither of them is going to hit either one of them. Yep. Um, all right, Ooh, smoke, smoke up. Yep, here comes Alter Ego. Where is the Sand King? He is in the front. There it is. The Burrow Strike comes through, and that is one dead Chan. Chan. Dead Chan. <laughs> he's out of there. Yep. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't get the telekinesis uh, land distance. It'd be really good as an engage uh, tool, but tiny still in biz. He's gonna go up ahead. Here we go. He's Trying gonna to pick out the pug now. back. Way Spies back. Sand King lands. Oh, that the alley to right. as if you need it. The oh side gosh, coming through, but, but the anti mage is here. That's right. Look at that. The BKBs all over everything. Anti mage swinging away. So many misses there. You can see. Yeah. But actually, with the tiny coming through, the jump over the wall. Mm. Telekinesis is sending him back and away. I think that is going to be the end of that. Sand King traded for Pugna. All right. Well, now the terrible is at mid. Here, he gets rid of that tier three. Oh, look at the racks go down. TB in this metamorphosis just look. absolutely insanity. Goodness. What do you do? AM can't fight that. Uh, he might be able to take out the illusions, but they've already lost one lane of racks. Looking There's to lose one. two. Fade bolt. Oh, yeah, oh no, so scary. Oh, the attempted engage, but it's rejected immediately. Another. Magic style comes through. TB doing what TBs do best. Oh, oh and there it is! Goodness. A huge, huge ult there. The Terrorblade Sunder. Oh. You can't fight that. Dominating. Jesus. The buyback happens. They see it. They just fall back. All right, you guys used your money. We're going to fall back. We got the racks down at mid. Good call to fall back. How do you fight that Sunder? Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. Would you like to be at 23% health? Sick. Um, wow.
Okay, uh, so as far as buybacks go, not a lot versus a lot. And Alter Ego, the later this game goes, the stronger and stronger they get. They're here to finish off the ranks. Yeah. We're the oh, game. here we go, trying to get onto them. AM is going to be pretty strong here for a second, but is it going to be strong enough? Look at the illusion. There's a jump oh, in. Oh, Jack has slam on everything. But it isn't going to be enough. The TB stands still, but still alive. AM doing work, but it's not working hard enough. Another big engage, but it's, mm. there's one dead Chen and everyone falling. AM just cannot last in these fights. Goes in, he tries to take on the Terrorblade. Once again, he does blink in. They're on tier fours. Oh He's got a fight. Gosh. It's do or die. It's now or never. Toss. TNT. He does get that toss. The lift. The telekinesis takes Tiny out of the fight here for a second. But I mean, even just the illusions doing work, taking on tier fours. All right. The Pugna being dead is huge. The Fisher does land, but how much are they going to commit? They will commit. Taking Burrow Strike. Terrorblade just is it half HP already? So much work. Yeah, AM has to blink out. He almost dies there for free. It feels like they just have no damage. Well, Pugna was dead for the whole time there. No, that's, yeah, it doesn't help. He is one of, you know, at, right after Anti-Mage, Pugna is right next to Anti-Mage in terms of net worth, even though he's under Tiny and Terrorblade. Still, the Pugna being dead throughout that whole team fight, uh, definitely not good. Losing too many racks right now. Alter Ego definitely knows how to keep that lead and not lose that. My thing is, like, what do you even get uh, on an AM to try to deal with this? I mean, you might just need, like, MKB even just for the butterfly, but even that's not, like, a super crazy damage item. Uh, and then how do you stop just getting sundered? I mean, I guess you can... Uh, just get Aegis and die once and just come back to life and fight again. Oh. <laughs> sure, wow. All right, here we go. Trying for the Roche here. Uh, I don't know if this is really going to come through. Yeah, I can't actually do it. I, I mean, I don't think they will be well, able they, to. Well, they know. They know. They have an idea. They are coming. They are grouping up. It's just an illusion. I mean, you say just. Those things are scary. Just an illusion. Dire Courier killed. Wait, what? What? Mm. What? Okay, well, that happened somewhere. Those items are on the ground for now. Yeah, I think they picked it up. <laughs> I hope so. so. They're just going back and forth. They both now know. Oh, uh, well, just there it is. The MKB complete, completed for terribly rolling in money. This guy is like Scrooge McDuck rich. Just has so much. Uh, and so now even Butterfly is not going to be uh, enough. Smoke they're up. Gonna smoke it. They're okay. Gonna be the one to initiate. If Cerberus. I, I think if this works, if they're able to find one catch here, but it's going to have to be the, the, the catch to catch all catches. Wait, are they just? No. No, they're not going to go for the back door. Yeah. Attempt to blink engage. There is the right. anti mage. Catches it out. In. There's Manta. the uh, Manta. Yeah, getting the clones out on there, burning nice all the, the mana there from that. Uh, Uh, right, meanwhile, elsewhere, there's the BKB pop. They're chasing after the Tiny. Tiny trying to run away. The mana being burned there. The damage coming through. The damage is actually oh, quite nice real. Fissure. Huge fissure comes through. The Echo Slam is real. But in the end, can they find the kills here? Tiny dead. Sand King dead. The buyback comes through. The Abaddon way too low here. The buyback, though, from the Anti-Mage. He will revive and stop. These super creeps from pushing in top lane. Oh, this is so scary. Oh my goodness. Now they're going to go for the rush. And look at the HP go down. They come right back. They know that. They're going to let them have yeah. it? I don't think no, so. Not. Trying to go through the damage coming in. Look at that start. The finish coming through is that. Echo Slam, I guess it's not quite up. There's the life drain. 
Is it enough? The Terrorblade is there, or the, uh, the Necropost dangerously low. Pugnut chasing, trying to get in range. Joe's too far, though. Ooh. The knockup, the AM, the kill comes through. Anti Mage on oh, the, the Terrorblade. The Bash is coming through. What the is it? Anti Mage, happening? no! It's not enough. He's forced to blink away. Oh my goodness. Anti Maze lives, Terrorblade lives, he goes for the rush again. Yeah, and the, the a bad I felt like he was about to die, but I, that's the story of a bad right? Yeah. It's almost, almost, and it's just never enough. Oh my goodness. This is this is way way too hype. I uh, I don't know, this is a little bit much for me. A borrowed time. Alright, there we go. Absolutely insane. Earthshaker goes in. He tries to make something out of it, but he has to fall back. But he's going to commit to it, seeing his friend Anti-Mage go in. Yeah, he already tried the Mana Void. Actually, he's going to blink for the kill here, but yeah. borrow time! Oh, man. No. Right, Abaddon buys right back. Yeah, he is coming back in there, but oh, is he going to be able to make it out in time? The lift, but no, it's just an Aegis. Good to Necro. take that out, but oh no, I think they might have overstepped, overstayed their welcome here. Oh, that's actually a beautiful, beautiful counter spell here, but the damage is just oh way my too goodness. much. Anti-mage dangerously low. Don't be singing Rubik, here. Rubik. But this Terrorblade is doing work. Is anybody going to die? Yeah, there it is. The Pugna down, Rubik down. Anti-mage about to die. Chen out of here. Yep. Is going to do it. Oh my goodness. It just keeps getting worse and... Earthshaker, Anti-Mage, lives. Yeah. The Anti-Mage living there is really sort of the, we get to play more of this game, and he will finally have an MKB of his own. Terribly with a refresher shard, oh though. Goodness. Ugh. Disgusting. Oh, my goodness. All right, well. We do have the top racks down already. Yeah, middle racks down middle as racks well. Down. Oh, the immediate engage! They get oh my He's dangerous. He's goodness. The MKB will keep him in here for just a little bit longer. He does recognize that the time is maybe not now. But look at the AM go. Savage on a killing spree. Oh. And he's not stopping now. They lose one. They lose two. They, they, they terribly down for 90 seconds. They're tossing forward. They're going to catch another oh one. Oh my god, Tiny, Tiny will go down, down as well. One, two, oh, three, four. Gosh. The team fight is a dream fight for Cerberus. And can you ask for anything better? What an insane turnaround. Holy smokes. It's been going back and forth. Alter Ego had the lead in the early game. It went to Cerberus. It, went, it came back to Alter Ego, and now it's back. Well, they Cerebus do have Glyph here, forth. so they will be able to use that to prolong their mid lane of Rax for a little bit. Honestly, that lower lane of Rax is the only thing keeping Cerberus in this game. If they had gone Mega Creeps, this would be a totally different situation. Now, they might overcommit here. They're going to uh, commit the Fissure. They're going for at least one Rax here. Will they go for more? Well, they got the melee Rax down at mid. They are going for the bottom. Making sure that they can take this one down. Extra healing, yep. not going to save this Rax. Only one Rax gone in both mid and bottom. <laughs> Rax are gone nonetheless, and that is a big deal. All right, they're going to pull back. Obviously, they got what they wanted. Whew. Just back to back to back. Crazy fights going back and forth. And if you remember, Terribly was able to stay alive for a very long time, not dying. Anti-Mage not being able to pick him off. And finally, at the end, Terrible dies, and everything goes to hell. Two melee racks down, and now they're back in for a fight. Another team fight might just end this Wait. game. Ahem just got a double damage rune. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Pipaloy, I mean... This might be that that moment. Oh, Force Staff as well. Oh, th there's Dagon level five, uh, or it's level four. I, I can't tell by the icon, but it's one of those. Three, four, or five, they're all wicked sick. So keep an eye out. Oh, look at this. Smoked yeah, up. Smoked up. <laughs> Over there. Smokes versus smokes. Got the better one. Oh, tiny, hanging out, chilling. 
waiting for the engage. And there is the Terror Blade. Drew getting caught out in that last fight. The engage that took him out. Oh, oh there we go! A double oh, The counter oh, engage. The Burl strike, strike a little faster. Through. Look at that, the epicenter. The damage coming through. How big is that Terror Blade? Mega kills coming in. But it's a mega kill there for the AM as well. Carry versus carry here, but nothing to deal with this TB. The one on one, but that's not going to be lasting for much longer. Are we going to get the dream fight that we saw oh earlier? Oh my goodness, here we go. Lifting up the AM, the damage being done, the blink afterwards. GG. That's it. And the buyback comes through. It's terribly against the world. How did they find that fight? You thought Terrible was doing the damage, but... Cerebrus. Cerberus, many, Cerberus, sorry. How many buybacks do we have? I mean, we can't have very many. I think they'll get the mid lane of Rax and maybe the bottom lane of Rax, but I'm, I, I'm not sure what the buyback situation is. If there's no buybacks, the game's over. Yeah, it's over. Going tier fours, yeah, there are no buybacks. Savage is no. literally a savage. Oh, and he gets taken down there at the end. An incredible turnaround from Cerberus. They will take the tier fours. The Ancient will be theirs, and they will go undefeated. A 4-0 score for our tied.